Hello everybody, my name is Graham Elwood and you're watching The Political Vigilante. The Federal Reserve keeps pumping money in. How is this possible? This was submitted by Patreon member Alex Talk. Fed to set up cash injections for banks guard against market pressure. This was March 9th. All the COVID shutdowns started around the 11th or 12th. That was sort of when the dominoes really fell. It was the evening or the afternoon of the 11th is when the NBA, later that night, the NHL shut down. Ron and I canceled our tour to Florida and everything started. By the end of that weekend, we had all these shutdowns in place across the country. But the Federal Reserve has been pushing money in and pushing money in. And this is an article. <laughs> this is CNBC, right? And then I found another article about the Fed from the New York Times. And I just, wanna, I just wanna read you some of the language from the corporate media talking about the Federal Reserve and the stimulus and stuff like that. So really, I mean, we've been talking about this. The Federal Reserve has been pumping money into Wall Street in the t to the tune of $6 trillion or more, or something like that, since the fall to prop up the economy before this pandemic. Like, I've been talking about this for a while, but just before the pandemic, we had a housing bubble, student loan bubble, car loan bubble. Yeah, did you know there's somewhere in the neighborhood of two million or more car loans that were 90 days late as of February 1st? What's that gonna be now that 10 million people just filed for unemployment? No one's buying a car now. People are gonna fall back behind on payments. Cars are gonna get repo. I mean, just that's the car market, it's done. Not to mention, 60% of this country didn't have 500 to $1,000 in savings. Again, all of those stats were pre-pandemic. So let's, let's listen to the, um, first of all, I appreciate Alex Talk for submitting the article. You can support this show just like Alex Talk does by going to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood. You get bonus content for as little as $2. And since I've been home more making more content, I'm trying to put stuff on Patreon almost every day. Cool behind the scenes photos, videos, early access to podcasts, all this stuff. If you missed the progressive comedy tour on Zoom that Ron Placone and I did, we've done two of them. Both of those are available uh, at Patreon at the $5 level. But let's read about the Fed from the corporate media. The central bank said it would uh, up the amount it offers in overnight operations from 100 to 150 billion through Thursday. Overnight. It took the Senate and the jackass Congress, the Democrats and the Republicans, the two failed parties, to hammer and haw and go through this little fucking stupid cat fight to get this stimulus plan that had four and a quarter trillion dollars hidden in it for the Wall Street. Oh, and we all get unemployment, 1,200 bucks. Well, I've applied for unemployment. I don't know if I get it. Maybe I'll get a small business loan and maybe I won't have to pay it back but we all get 1200 bucks, maybe. None of it's shown up yet at all, but the banks can do whatever the fuck they want. But they just overnight, don't you like the Fed just overnight? Why didn't we have a rent freeze? Why, we, I, April 1st just happened. Everybody just had to pay rent and mortgage. Some people are doing a rent strike. I support those people. I support a general strike. What we should be doing, all bills are frozen. If you tell me and every American, you don't have to pay any bills and here's $1,200 just to pay for food and gas, great, that I can live on. I gotta pay rent, the 1200 doesn't even cover my rent. It doesn't cover my insurance, my car insurance, my renter's insurance, my car payment, my, what the, what the fuck, huh? But the Federal Reserve overnight can just, oh, here's, here's we're gonna raise it an extra $50 billion. LA Unified School District is having a fundraiser this weekend for low-income students because they've had to shut down the entire, the second largest school district in the country. And they're trying to do online classes and stuff like that. There's kids that, that, that come from families that don't have computers, so they can't do the online, gotta get the kids computers. And then there's a lot of kids, and this is in school districts all over the country. We saw this during the many teacher strikes in the last couple of years. There's kids who have to get their, they get their meals at school, that's where they get fed. It's also childcare. 
you close, let's say someone works for the hop, they work in the metal, they're a, do they're a doctor, they're a nurse, they work in an ER or whatever. They're pretty busy right now. And school was, a, was their child care. So now the kid can't go to school. Who's going to watch the kid? Who's, so they're having a fundraiser. But the Federal Reserve can just give an extra $50 billion overnight to the banks. LA Unified School District has to have a fundraiser and hats off to the people involved and organizations and the LA Chargers are, were helping out. The Red Cross is helping. That's great. That's great. Those kind of charities are a tax on good people. The corporations just get money over, literally overnight, overnight. LA Unified should be like, we need $50 billion. Whatever the, it's probably not, what is it? What do they need? 100 million, 200 million to feed their kids? Maybe a billion at the most? It's probably a $100 million would do it. They can't, oh, this with the paperwork and the stimulus plan didn't cover it and bing, bing, bing. So they have to have a fundraiser. <laughs> Overnight though, these ass hats get whatever they want. Richest country in the history of the world. In addition, it will increase the two week repo operation offerings from last 20 billion to at least 45. Just boom, up it, extra, extra 50 billion, extra 25 billion, no problem. No problem. Kid needs a, a school lunch? Mm, I don't know if we have the money for the budget. Well, you know what we should do right now? Every school district that's shut down, which is everyone in America, any kid doesn't have a computer, boom, you get a computer. Kid gets a computer, they get food, here's money for food. Here's even money for childcare if the parent is working in one of the frontline jobs. Yeah, here's money for childcare. I bet you there's people out of work that would be, you know, out of work nannies or whatever, babysitters, something. Open up a childcare facility for these kids, like someone who's working in a frontline job, grocery store, hospital, and their kids home from school and they need childcare for their kid. There should just be money overnight. No, can't figure that out. But the banks got taken care of. Rest easy. The banks got taken care of. You're told your kid can't go to school. You're told you can't work and you don't know how you're going to pay bills and feed your kids. I don't know. Thoughts and prayers. This is a step in the right direction of providing additional liquidity to guard against money market, funding market pressures, but as a baby, shut the fuck up with your capitalist bullshit. Shut the fuck up. I can't listen to this capitalist crap. Shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. This is just... Eight thousand people die every day from a virus called hunger, and there's a cure for it. It's called food. Eight thousand people a day die from hunger. But this virus of hunger doesn't affect the ruling class, so they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit on finding a cure. How do we cure hunger? How do we cure hunger? End capitalism. There's enough food on the planet. Good Christ, the middle of America can feed practically the whole goddamn planet. How do we figure this? I don't know how we figure it. The reason there's hunger is because of capitalism. The reason we, we don't have enough face masks for medical staff and we got to get ventilators shipped in from another country is because of capitalism. Because assholes like the Clintons that did NAFTA shipped our manufacturing overseas so we can't even make enough masks. We should be able to just go this pandemic hit. We should just go, okay, all these, put the, all these factories online. Let's put America, all these Americans been laid off. Boom. You have a factory that makes non-essential. Boom. All these bartenders, we can't train a bunch of bartenders and waiters to fucking sew a goddamn mask together? We can't train them like overnight, give them, put them to work making ventilators? We can't do this? <laughs> we gotta have a fundraiser for LA Unified School District. Uh, again, I'm not mad at the fundraiser. I'm mad that it has to happen. I'm happy and, and my, everyone involved in it is, is probably noble people with great intentions and it needs to be done and they, they were like, well, let's do this fundraiser. These kids need food and supplies because they're working at school at home. We got to do this. Good for them. But we're the richest country in the history of the world. We shouldn't have to have a fundraiser for schools. 
Is Boeing having a fundraiser? Is Merrick Pharmaceuticals having a fundraiser? Should we all chip in for Raytheon? Everybody chip in, do we have a GoFundMe for them? Go arrest Jeff Bezos and all of his kind and seize their assets and give them to people who need it. Anybody who lost their job, boom. We should nationalize Amazon. I had a Patreon fan send me this. We should nationalize Amazon. It's important. We're seeing it now. We need this distribution. It's, it's an integral part of American society. We should nationalize it. Just sorry, Jeff. Thanks, pal. We get this. You're done. And seizes $158 billion. And leave, leave little Jeffy Bezos with just $50 million and see if he can get by the rest of his bald-headed evil life on just $50 million. We'll take the $157, $950 million out of your hands, you evil sociopath, so that kids in Los Angeles and other cities can fucking eat during a pandemic. How do we cure hunger? I don't know. Maybe don't fly around in a $75 million Gulf Stream. You bag of shit. The Fed got a big pile of cash to help the economy. Who will benefit? This was in the New York Times. This is a mind-numbing article to read. As the coronavirus sends the economy into a free fall, the Federal Reserve will keep credit flowing with an array of programs, but some details are fuzzy. Gee, I wonder if that was by design. That's why 96-0 in the Senate, everybody voted for it. Everybody voted for it. I don't hang all this on Bernie. I didn't exalt him as our sole leader and he was gonna fix everything, so I'm not gonna hang everything on him. But I really have so no faith in the Democratic Party. They all voted for this bill. And if, the, if their attitude is like, well, we just needed to get the first one out to get stimulus moving and then we'll have a better bill, okay. But if this next bill has even a fucking penny for these godless bank assholes, then I know you're full of shit. But let's read this bullshit article from the New York Times. Congress earmarked $454 billion for Federal Reserve programs that are meant to keep credit flowing to businesses, states, and local governments. So that small business loan that, that was just told about, the Melissa that I filled out, it's a pretty decent thing. You can get up to ten grand, and if you use it for labor, for, for you know, you don't lay anybody off, you don't have to repay it. But big corporations are getting massive amounts of money and they, they, don't, they can lay people off and they still don't have to repay it. So they're getting free money no matter what. And, they, and they'll lay, you better believe they're going to lay people off. They're going to go, well, we get stimulus money and we can cut labor? Great. Excuse me. Great. Great. That's what they're going to do. And it's up to 10 grand, which is like, okay. What are you going to do if you're some business like a restaurant, like the comedy clubs we work. They employ 30, 40, 50 people. What's 10 grand gonna do? If you, got, if you have 20 employees, what's, how, much is, how, many, how many months of labor out <laughs> of 10 grand? I mean, it's better than nothing, but that's what we get, the 99%. We get, well, it's better than nothing. The corporations get whatever the hell they want. The new $454 billion is meant to do. Uh, it will back up the Fed lending programs that could extend more than $5 trillion worth of credit. They want us all in debt and they want to buy up our businesses and our homes. That's what this first uh, stimulus plan is all about. Yeah, the, the, the bullshit one that Obama put, they, they didn't get to snake. They only got 6 million homes they got to snatch up, but now they're going to get the rest of them. And they go through like point by point in this. I, I, this is, I just literally screen grab this. Watch this. Will it help my family? Yes, but it's mostly indirect. Let me, let me rewrite that for you. No, you're going to get fucked. Mostly indirect, you know what that means? You're going to get table scraps. Remember when George Bush sent out $300 checks to everybody? And I was like, oh, thanks. I don't know, what does this buy? Groceries, my cell phone bill, and a tank of gas. Thanks, George. You're going to get little table scraps, $1,200. Will it help my family? Yes, but mostly indirectly, which means it won't be a sustainable help. A lot of people are going to lose their homes. Or they, they can't evict you, but you're four months behind on rent. Good luck getting out from under that. 
Will it help small business? Yes, but the Fed is not the key player here. <laughs> Anything that's yes, but you know, you know something bad's happening. You know something bad's happening. That's like just the tip. No, no, just the tip. I'm just gonna put in the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> just the tip. Is it gonna help my small business? Yeah, but it's like in the red. I mean, it's just the tip. Just the tip. Yeah, just the tip. Do big corporations get a lot of help? You better bet your sweet ass they do, baby. They get trillions of dollars. They get whatever they want. They get the tip, the shaft, the whole bunch of boom, boom, boom. That's what they get. Big companies with solid balance sheets benefit in several ways. Did you hear this? Small business, maybe. Family, kinda. Big business, boom, you get everything you want. Not even a hesitation. So the top of the article in the New York Times, they said it was fuzzy. It was just fuzzy on how you're getting, they're fuzzy on telling you specifically how you're gonna get fucked. That's what they're fuzzy on. They're fuzzy on how you're gonna get screwed while corporations are gonna actually profit from this collapse. That's what's fuzzy. They can't tell you straight out how you're getting screwed. It could also be a case that America's banks and businesses do not demand four trillion in loans, in which case the pool could go untapped. Yeah, they won't use all, if only what they need. The only what they need. Yes, yes. I think the best way to sum up corporations when they're given large trillion dollar stimulus checks is that they won't, the best example, one of the best examples of somebody who'd never let the money and the power go to their head, which I think represents the corporate culture in America, is Antonio Montana. Yeah, right? He just, he spilled a little blow on his nose, but he's fine. He built an empire, nice business, you know, and that was it. That's it. There they are. That's... <laughs> That's what they are. Just a table full of blow. Ah, I need more stimulus. Say hello to my little stimulus plan. Gung, 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 gung. Hello, my friend. Gung, 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 gung. It's just shooting down small business owners and working families. Bam, 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 bam. Just blow. Yeah, he needs it. He needs more blow. He needs it. Help out the corporations, guys. They're struggling. Help out a billionaire. Help them out and then shave your knuckles for justice. Hey everybody, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockman.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.